Hey, this is June Sketches and today there's been a change in my plans. I'm moving the vlog videos on a different day so follow me on my Instagram for when I decide what day to post my vlog videos from now on and let's get to tackling this painting. Earlier this month, I went out with my mom to watch a Filipino film called The House of Us. The premise of the story is basically about two people who fell in love at a young age and they go through a flurry of obstacles which breaks them apart only to then again be thrown into each other's lives. It's a pretty basic romance story and I think for what it is, it was done pretty well. I fell in love with a few cinematic scenes from this movie and since I'm always a sucker for Kath Neal movies, I just I fell in love with it. I just love their dynamic and look forward to their films no matter what. And actually, last year I watched one of their movies on my way to the Philippines and it's it's called Barcelona I think. And I just I love watching them. I think they're great together and I enjoy I enjoy their movies. I look forward to their films. I think they're, they're great. Like full on biased. I think they're great. While I was watching this film, this movie, I was reminded about true to life events occurring around me. And it was difficult to just watch and enjoy the film without comparing it to my surroundings, the people around me, and to my life. And a lot of the scenes felt so relatable to me. And I think that's what really sold it for me, is that I was able to connect with the movie much more so than I would if the things happening in my life wasn't happening. And, you know, if you want to know more about what I actually think about the premise of the story and how I connected to it, you can go ahead and follow me on my blog. The link will be down in the description or on the screen, like always. I try to post at least once a week and twice if something big happens to me that I just need to write it out. A great thing about Filipino films is that they are released with subtitles. So for any non-Tagalog speakers, you're in luck. You can go to a theater without worry, you won't understand a single word because there it is, subtitles. Normally, I would be peeved about having subtitles in the theaters if it's not really necessary but for someone who watches K-dramas and other films that need subtitles because I can't understand certain languages I was okay with it. It didn't bother me. Usually it would bother me but probably my biasness for this couple was working in working in overtime and I just I wasn't bothered by it at all. Anyway, going back to the film, I was really inspired to paint something and I just couldn't not paint one of my favorite scenes from this film. So, spoilers for any one of you who haven't seen it, but seriously, if you're watching this, you've probably seen it, and it's been almost a month since it's been released, so you can't really avoid it when you're in the internet, and so let's just get on with it. So this is a scene from their Amsterdam trip. I wanted something reminiscent of Impressionism, so there's no clear details. And I wanted to focus on the feelings of the scene and how the colors of that scene affected me. It was just a bright but intensely sad scene. I remember actually crying during this part and thinking this was it. No turning back for the both of them. 
I don't want to live this way I really wish we never knew Out of sight and out of mind I don't want to be with you But the next time I saw your face Nothing I can do I just have to face the truth All I want is to be with you I can only imagine us both loving through the night I can only imagine us together side by side I can only imagine a world dancing in the moonlight I can only imagine I can only imagine I want to know If you will be My favorite song My little melody If we could be a symphony, then we would be a perfect And that is the reason why we have this video. It's because I wanted to paint one of the scenes that I love. And I've also gotten back to watercolor painting. And this was a great way for me to just exercise those muscles that I haven't used in a long time. And like I said, if you guys want to know more about what I think of the movie, go check out my vlog. Just all the feelings that I got from watching it. I wrote all about it. Go check it out. And so that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this. Hit that like button and remember to share. And also subscribe if you haven't. See you next video. Bye!